moving in to New Orleans at Green Bay. Will Alvin Kamara? Yeah. Will Alvin Kamara revive the Saints' running game? Here's my honest answer for you. And again, from a Saints fan here, um, honest answer, uh, no. Because at the moment, every Saints fan knows the issue with the run game is not even the running backs. Uh, the issue with the run game is our offensive line. Yeah. Man, what's going on? I'm not trying to. I'm I'm thinking how I want to approach this because I don't want to just be insulting towards the squad of, of, of our line because I do believe that they're a very talented unit. That's what makes this what's going on so weird is uh, as a Saints fan, you know, the bread and butter of the squad has always been in the last 10, 15 years, the O line, very dominant trenches, even at worst come to worst. You're going to be able to see the team run the ball, right? Like we're going to be able to move the ball, run the ball. That's what should look easy is going to look easy. It has not been the case. I'll even say kind of started to see this just trend happening last year, but then it really started to come to fruition this year where the O line is just kind of falling off the rails. Ramcheck looks like a, I don't want to say shell of his former self because I do believe he can return to his former self. Uh, and moreover, I'll switch over to my main point here is I do believe a lot of this is happening because, and I'm going to hop on the train, uh, right when we hired Doug Marone to be our offensive line coach, it's right when all this regression started happening. Yeah. And mind you, the run blocking is not the issue. The run blocking is, it's an issue. Again, I'm saying, I know I'm saying like, it's all the issue. I'm not, let me be clear. It is an issue. It's not the whole issue. The whole issue in the whole is the fact that the pass blocking too is completely regressed because, you know, there's always been issues here and there with whatever else, but the pass blocking around here was always, and especially with these guys have been really good over the past couple of years. Eric McCoy, Ramshack, very good pass blockers. This year, we can't pass block for shit. The unit looks terrible. Just being honest. I, I went from trying to be just very objective and, yeah, honest, yeah. and now I'm just being completely honest. It, it sucks right now. The Saints fans know. The Saints themselves, they know deep down. This is not this is not it. O-line has got to step it up. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think as much as I wish, Kamara's going to help out in the pass game because I do believe he'll be able to help out with, you know, Dump getting offs. things open the flat. Yeah, he'll, he'll provide an element no matter what in the screen game. I just, and it's not his fault, but in the run game, it comes down to our line guy stepping up. Yeah. No, I... That's my thing is like, I didn't really think I didn't really think the Saints offense looked that great, even though they're leading most of the game. And especially after Carr got injured, it was just kind of like, ah, damn, I thought they had the Packers. I really did. And they they didn't get the run game going. The passing game was pedestrian. Like the bright side is like you see Olave is that guy. That's the one. And Shahid, I guess. Shahid, I could, Shahid made a great and play. And Thomas looks good again, too. But. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, you know Thomas should be good and everything. Like, the Saints defense, like, I would hope they would have generated, like, a little bit more pressure. That, but the, the corners looked fine. Like, because, like, my thing is, like, the Packers already had two backup linemen in. So, like, why, like, why they didn't, like, they did a really good job limiting the run, but, like, I we don't know how that would have been if Aaron Jones was in. Like we know AJ Dillon has not been that great lately, but getting that interception, um, was good. But missing the Packers are also missing their top. So it might. I'm just rambling. But at the end of the day, like I think the Saints are the more talented roster. But it was very frustrating not seeing them not capitalize on a team that's down and obviously not as like good as you and not that's not to discredit the Packers I think the Packers are a fine team but it's just like you got to capitalize well, no, on those that's moments. the thing is let me be clear this no that's what makes it so frustrating because you'll agree this this was this let me let me let me kind of like this is what makes it so frustrating from my perspective and uh it falls back to one man we'll trust me in a minute but the problem is that if Derek Hardy didn't get injured I know like you can you can always play like the oh this didn't and I know it's 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 a stupid game to play we're gonna play it for a second the whole like if he didn't get injured then we would have won that game right but here's my yeah. thing Okay, and what happens is when Derek Carr gets injured, this is the problem with the Saints right now. Is there's been a this has been a thing since he's come. And I'm, I'm giving credit. Dennis Allen does look a lot better this year. He, this is not the guy that falls on. It was gonna, I'm gonna say this in a second. But what there's a problem where under Dennis Allen's leadership, whenever kind of like some something happens in the game or some injury will happen that kind of like, you know, you gotta buckle down and like really regroup and like, you know, just move on. It seems like we can never do that the day of. It's always like the Saints are very like. They, they sway emotionally. Like if something, if something's going very, if things are going well and everything's how it's supposed to be, Saints are playing really well. But if it's not and someone gets injured or something doesn't go the way it was supposed to go, that game plan, it's kind of like the wheels just fall off. And here's what I think it comes down to too. I guess I said the man it comes down to. Pete Carmichael has been capped 
out this year. Oh, man, he's been capped out. Yeah. Because I don't understand. This is my thing, too, and I'll shut up after this. But I don't understand how we went from running the ball effectively, getting the clock chewed with Derek Carr out there, to like, oh, Derek's injured? Let's just basically go like air raid with Jameis. Yeah. It makes no sense. We were throwing the ball more at Jameis out there, who has been getting no reps with the, with the starters. What are we doing? Like, P. Carmichael, man, if you can hear this somehow, bro. Dude, please, please start throwing more screens. Please start being more. I want to see a more like a more balanced game plan. We're either throwing a lot or running a lot. And it's like, can we just do them in tangent like we have been at our best? That's, I'm going to shut up and leave it at that. So, just, yeah, I'll leave on the Saints uh, on that. But uh, going into Green Bay, the Saints, even though they led most of the game, like Green Bay, I think did a really good job like creating pressure on the Saints. The Saints. They got four sacks and they held you guys to 252 yards. So they also did great on third down. Y'all were only four for 14 on third. And it's like, I feel like the third down conversions are so big in the games. Like if you don't convert on third downs, like obviously you're going to give up the ball, but it's like, if your percentage is low, it's just like, that's how the game's going to go. Love's kind of showed up late, um, but you could still see that. Like he has a couple passes every game where he just like, he'll sail them. Like, like the guy will be wide open. He'll sail him. And you'd hope like that he gets it figured out, but he was only 50% on his completion percentage today. Um, and, you know, obviously he's getting more pressure because of the left tackle left guard being out, but still, I feel like you got to be better. Um, the run game was not good. Uh, you can tell they're You can tell very clearly they're missing their starters and, you know, they played as a team late and they got the clutch win. It was a gritty win for a young Packers team. And I think that's really good for them going forward. Um, but overall, like good on offense and defense. Like it wasn't a very high scoring game. Like it was a team game that they eventually came out with the win in the end. So that's what I had to say on the Packers. No, I am just, I'm just going to touch off that real quick and then we'll move on. But yeah, no, my thing is again, Jordan love. I'm gonna keep riding the victory lap because yes, miss some throws. Played, but again, very tough defense, very tough situation with missing a lot of your receivers or O line. Yeah. He did what he got to do. And I'm big on when you show it when it matters most. Yep. He showed up when yep. it mattered most. And he looked so confident. Yeah. You he love did. to see it if you're a Packers fan. You definitely do. Yep. Salty moment for the Saints. But uh, you know, uh, we'll take it because it, it boosted my own narrative. <laughs> you guess what? We'll, we'll take it with the we'll take the good with the bad. 